Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okapo and I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve bone heat weighting error. So if you've ever tried to rig in Blender, that nice error message, um, though it's not frequent, um, it occurs when Blender run into problems. And that problem is usually caused when the object which you're trying to bind to the armature has sef several parts so a very good example of this is when you're trying to rig a character that has um hair geometry hair like by that i mean game hair so you know those kind of um those that kind of um, prop requires lots of object parts so when blender is trying to bind it it runs into error because it doesn't know how to deal with those um little parts um so for the first tip um the way you could solve that is to try to separate um, all those parts of the object which you have in one mesh into separate objects so um, once you do that it, it will help blender to um, bind it even better so today i'm going to be showing you a new technique which i which i picked up earlier so i didn't know why i didn't consider this uh, so i i found out about it on twitter i forgot the post so i saw the post and this idea came to my head so i'm going to be showing you guys today and for all of you that have left comments concerning um, running into this kind of issue in my previous rigging tutorial um, yeah, so this is going to be a nice response um, to help you guys fix that issue. So without wasting any of your time, let's jump right into the Blender scene. So right now we have, um, I because I was trying to re replicate the error, so I went to look for the worst kind of mesh uh, possible. So I came up with um, this nice um, 3D scan. So if I'm to go into the wireframe you can see it looks quite uh, messy and definitely with this you might run into um some rigging rigging issue and that's perfect for what we want for this tutorial so so let's just do basic binding so we want to select the mesh shift select the bone okay and hit ctrl p and this time we're going to select automatic weight and once you do that you will witness this lovely um, error message um, that's telling you that um, Blender is unable to um, fix or bind everything very well. Okay, so um, basically, as I said, um, the way I'm going to show you guys how to fix it is quite straightforward. We'll be using a modifier called data transfer. Okay, so what we're doing is to create a more cleaner or simpler um, version of this geometry that Blender can handle very easily, and then we're going to transfer the uh, vertex group um, from that clean geometry onto this um, mesh very easily. So let's, let's do that. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Um, let me make sure I clear everything we did. Okay. So I'm just going to um, delete all these groups. Okay. And clear the parent. So I'll just go ahead and call this final mesh. Because this is like this is the final mesh we're happy with, okay. And I'm going to now duplicate it and call this um, clean clean up. So we can just hide this final mesh for now. So if I go into the wireframe, now we can see. So one thing I want to do is to reduce the vertex count because re reducing the vertex count can also assist Blender in this process. Or basically, you could uh, remesh it, um, and then it could help because um, the data you're going to be getting from this is just basically um, the data associated with the bone. Um, so it doesn't matter if the this clay mesh is sharing the same vertex count with the final mesh; it's going to work. So um, selecting this mesh, let's just um, decimate it. I'm going to set this to point one. Okay. As you can see it has re really reduced it and i'm also going to do weld just to uh, combine any like loose faces um, so everything is combined into one mesh and i'm also going to apply that okay so now if we select this object and shift select the bone one more time oh, just select it from here Control p um, sorry, we want to select the mesh first, select the bone, control P, automatic weight. And as you can see, um, it has binded it very easily and fast. And of course, this is not the greatest mesh, so 
Yeah, so as you can see, we've gotten the mesh to be deformed by the bone, and that's what we want. So now for the next step, we want to transfer the data from this uh, mesh now onto the final final mesh. So what we're going to do is just to hide this bone for now. And for this um, cleanup mesh, I will just, just for display purposes, nothing, um, no particular reason. Uh, no particular technical reasons i'm just going to switch this to um bounce so um, we can easily identify it okay so now i'm going to select the final mesh which is not so clean and now i'm going to select the amateur and hit ctrl p and instead of automatic weight we'll set it with empty groups okay and now we select this and go into the modifier and add a data transfer we want to move it above the the amateur modifier and now we want to select the mesh object and we'll be selecting the final mesh um, object that, that, um, that's basically this clean um, mesh here okay so once you do that um, you want to also click on vertex data because we want the vertex um, group data so it falls under vertex data and then we'll check on vertex group and after that you just want to hit apply and now it's going to create a vertex group here and now if we select the amateur and move it you can see we have copied um, the vertex group data from the clean mesh so all we just need to do now is either just fix it or clean it to match um, the pre-existing to look cleaner and just move, move it into the final level so this is really awesome and you can play with it if you have questions you can leave it in the comments for you guys that don't know how to use vertex group the next tutorial i'm going to be releasing is going to be related to um, using um, really understanding um vertex group and weight painting inside blender and i'm going to show you guys techniques on how to achieve that so yeah so if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you wish to see more for me don't forget to hit that subscribe um, button and click the bell button by the side of it so you get notified anytime i post something here so thank you for watching this video bye bye for now see you next time